The movie opens with a caged lab rat in an unknown facility. Suddenly, an unseen force attacks and devours it, leaving no trace. The scene shifts to scientist Sebastian Kane, who, besides spying on his neighbor, is dedicated to making animals invisible as part of a top-secret project. After years of research, he's now focused on one goal, finding a way to reverse the invisibility process, what he calls reversion. He tweaks the chemical formula and runs a new simulation. This time, the element stabilizes, and Sebastian realizes to his immense satisfaction that he's finally succeeded after a year of work. Excited, Sebastian calls his colleague and ex-girlfriend Linda to share the news of his breakthrough. During the video call, he notices a man in Linda's bed and jealously demands to know who it is. Linda brushes him off, telling him to mind his own business. When Sebastian shifts the conversation to the reversal formula, showing her that he's cracked the code, Linda is impressed, though she hides it behind a calm exterior. After the call, Linda wakes her current boyfriend, Matt, who also happens to be Sebastian's co-worker. She urges him to hurry to the lab, as Sebastian has finally figured out how to reverse invisibility. Linda suggests they drive separately to avoid raising suspicion about their relationship. But Matt, sensing the right moment, thinks it's time to tell Sebastian the truth about them. Sebastian soon arrives at the highly secured lab, located in an underground facility. After passing through fingerprint scans and voice recognition, he enters the lab, where animals rendered invisible can only be observed through thermal imaging. Meanwhile, Matt tends to Isabel, a once invisible gorilla they've been studying. As Matt prepares to inject her with Sebastian's new serum, Isabel lashes out, scratching him and escaping her cage. Matt rushes to inform Sebastian, explaining that Isabel has become more aggressive. The two of them chase the unseen gorilla through the lab until they manage to corner her. At that moment, Sarah, the lab's veterinarian, steps in to challenge Sebastian. She argues against administering the untested serum to Isabel, calling it unethical. Linda supports her, reminding Sebastian that Sarah was hired because she's the best in the field. Despite the tension, the team, comprising Matt, Linda, Sarah, Carter, Frank, and Janice, prepares to inject Isabel with the serum. Sarah checks the gorilla's vital signs, sprays dye on her arms to make her more visible, and Janice hands the syringe to Sebastian. The team watches in awe as the gorilla's body slowly becomes visible again. But their relief is short-lived when Isabel suddenly deteriorates and goes into cardiac arrest. The room fills with panic as they rush to use a defibrillator. After tense moments, Isabel's condition stabilizes and her body fully reappears. Later, the team celebrates their success at a high-end restaurant. Amid the celebratory mood, Sebastian tries to have a serious conversation with Linda, expressing his hope to rekindle their relationship. However, Linda firmly rejects the idea, making it clear that she's moved on. Sebastian then submits their findings to the Pentagon Commission. During the meeting, his former mentor, Dr. Kramer, asks how they resolved the reversion issue. To everyone's surprise, Sebastian lies, claiming they haven't figured it out yet. Matt and Linda exchange shocked glances as Kramer warns Sebastian that the commission expects results soon, or they will replace him if he can't deliver. As they leave the meeting, Sebastian pulls Linda and Matt aside, explaining why he lied to the Pentagon. He confesses that he's hesitant to reveal their breakthrough, fearing the military will seize control of their research. Sebastian has grand ambitions. He wants to make history on his terms aiming for a Nobel Prize. To do that, he proposes taking the next step, illegal human trials. When they share the plan with the rest of the team, no one is pleased. Ethical concerns hang in the air, but Sebastian refuses to back down. He insists he'll be the first subject volunteering himself for the experiment. The day of the procedure arrives. As Sebastian prepares, Matt makes one last attempt to dissuade him, reminding him that there's still time to reconsider. Sebastian brushes him off, determined to proceed. Lying on the surgical table, Sebastian takes the serum from Linda, insisting on injecting himself so no one else is held responsible if things go wrong. 
As the serum enters his bloodstream, his pulse spikes and tension rises in the room. The team prepares the defibrillator, bracing for the worst. Slowly, Sebastian's body begins to fade, becoming completely invisible. The procedure is successful, but the strain causes him to lose consciousness. Seventeen hours later, Sebastian wakes up in agony, screaming at Linda and Matt to turn off the lights, overwhelmed by sensory overload. Physically, he's stable, but to ensure the results hold, the team must monitor him constantly. Sarah volunteers for the night shift. However, during the night, while alone, Sarah dozes off. As she sleeps, Sebastian, now invisible, takes advantage of the situation, touching her inappropriately. She wakes suddenly, unsure if it was real or a nightmare. The next morning, Sarah tells her colleagues what happened, and a sense of unease spreads among the women in the lab. They're now on edge, knowing Sebastian could be watching or lurking at any moment. Tension peaks when Sebastian brazenly asks Linda to sleep with him, wanting to experience intimacy while invisible. Linda firmly rejects him. Three days pass, and it's time to bring Sebastian back. The team administers the reversion serum, but things go terribly wrong. Sebastian's body flickers in and out of visibility, his organs appearing and disappearing randomly. Panic sets in, but they manage to stabilize him. They agree to keep this failure a secret from the Pentagon. For now, Sebastian remains invisible, so the team creates a synthetic mask for him to wear, allowing him to function in the lab. Over the following days, Matt works desperately to find a solution, while Sebastian's frustration grows. After ten days of invisibility, Sebastian becomes restless. One night, while Carter is on duty at the lab, Sebastian decides he's had enough. He demands to leave, despite Carter reminding him it's against protocol. Sebastian, asserting his authority as project leader, overrides Carter and walks out, promising to return in a few hours. Carter, worried, calls Linda to inform her of the situation. Meanwhile, Sebastian, thrilled by his newfound freedom, drives home, singing in his car. Arriving at his apartment, he notices his attractive neighbor and, driven by darker impulses, sneaks into her home. Invisible and unrestrained, he sexually assaults her. Afterward, he spots Linda entering his apartment from a distance and waits until she leaves before returning home. Back at the lab, the team scrambles to track down Sebastian, increasingly alarmed about the dangers of his condition being exposed. But Sebastian unexpectedly returns, claiming he just needed to pick up some personal items. He dismisses their concerns, asserting that as the project leader, he calls the shots. Linda, however, warns him that if he pulls another stunt, she'll report him to the committee. Later that night, Linda is asleep, when she suddenly feels her blanket being pulled off and her clothes being undone. She jolts awake, only to find her phone ringing beside her, realizing it was just a nightmare, though the fear lingers. Meanwhile, Matt believes he's close to a breakthrough and eagerly shares his findings with the team. However, just as the simulation reaches 95%, it crashes. The failure sends Sebastian into a rage, and he ends up storming out of the room. The following evening, Sebastian devises a clever plan to escape unnoticed. He sets up a device that plays a looping video of his heat signature in his lab room, fooling Frank into thinking he's still there while he sneaks out. Free from observation, Sebastian heads to Linda's apartment and spies on her. As he watches, Matt arrives, and they head into another room together. This enrages Sebastian, and in a fit of jealousy, he smashes a window. Linda immediately suspects it's Sebastian and calls Frank to confirm if he's still at the lab. Frank, unaware of the ruse, checks the monitor and assures her that Sebastian is right where he should be, as the earlier recording continues to play. Sebastian returns to the lab in a foul mood. His anger boils over, and he takes it out by killing one of the lab's dogs in a violent outburst. Later, when the team reviews the security footage, they see that Sebastian supposedly spent the entire night in bed, unaware of the trick he pulled. That evening, Linda grows increasingly paranoid, sensing Sebastian's presence in her apartment. She calls out, 
accusing him of playing games, then throws a blanket across the room, hoping to expose him. Frightened when nothing happens, she rushes out of her apartment, jumps into her car, and drives straight to the lab. At the lab, Matt reassures Linda that Sebastian is still sleeping, according to the monitor. But Linda, suspicious, checks for herself and quickly discovers that Sebastian has tampered with the cameras. Realizing the situation has spiraled out of control, she calls the entire team together and tells them that she and Matt plan to inform the Pentagon about everything Sebastian has done. She assures the others they won't be implicated, but unbeknownst to her, Sebastian is lurking nearby, overhearing the entire conversation. Linda and Matt drive to Dr. Kramer's house, determined to tell him the truth. As they explain what's been going on, Sebastian spies on them from outside, unseen. Kramer promises to contact the necessary authorities and tells them to pack their things in preparation for the fallout. Once Linda and Matt leave, Sebastian strikes. He attacks Kramer, dragging him to the pool and drowning him. Kramer's cries for help go unheard, and by the time his wife finds him, it's too late. He's dead. The next day, when Linda arrives at the lab, Sebastian is waiting for her, acting as if nothing is wrong. He casually mentions that it's going to be a busy day. Matt reveals that Sebastian returned to the lab around 3 a.m. and has been roaming the halls ever since. Soon after, the team learns that Kramer mysteriously drowned in his pool the previous night. As Linda tries to call one of the generals for help, the line cuts off and they realize they're now completely isolated from the outside world. Frank inspects the lab surveillance equipment while Matt warns that it could be several days before anyone notices their situation. As they begin their search for Sebastian, the tension in the lab mounts. Janice lags behind the group and Sebastian, ever the predator, seizes the opportunity. He strangles her with an IV line and hides her body in a locker. When the team finds Janice's lifeless body, panic spreads. Linda, Sarah, and Frank barricade themselves in the lab, while Matt and Carter, armed with tranquilizer guns and thermographic goggles, go after Sebastian. Matt fires at what he thinks is Sebastian's heat signature, only to realize it's just a steam vent. Suddenly, Sebastian ambushes Carter from above, hoisting him into the air. Matt fires at Sebastian, but misses, and Sebastian hurls Carter against a steel bar, severing his carotid artery and leaving him critically injured. Just as Sebastian is about to finish off Matt, Linda intervenes, saving him in the nick of time. Meanwhile, Sarah and Frank discover Carter, barely clinging to life. Despite Frank's protest, Sarah leaves in search of blood for a transfusion. As she gathers supplies, she senses Sebastian's presence. In a desperate move, she scatters blood across the room, hoping to reveal Sebastian's invisible form. However, Sebastian is one step ahead. He shoots Sarah with her own tranquilizer dart, then calmly approaches her and snaps her neck, silencing her for good. Elsewhere, Linda and Matt discover Frank tending to Carter in his final moments. The poor guy soon succumbs to his wounds and dies from massive blood loss. Now, the group is even more determined to find Sarah, and they set off together. But they are horrified when they find her lifeless body in the walk-in freezer. Desperate, Frank uses a fire extinguisher to expose Sebastian's invisible form, but before he can react, Sebastian ambushes him from behind with a crowbar, knocking him out. In a savage move, Sebastian then stabs Matt in the chest with the hooked end of the crowbar and forces both Linda and Matt into the freezer, locking them inside and lowering the temperature to freeze them to death. Inside the freezing room, Linda frantically tries to stop Matt's bleeding, sealing his wound with duct tape. She attempts to pry the door open, but the freezing mechanism has it locked tight. Meanwhile, outside, Sebastian prepares his escape, rigging explosives throughout the facility. He tests the explosive mixture by tossing a makeshift grenade, satisfied with its destructive power. Linda, resourceful in the face of danger, uses a defibrillator to fashion a magnet. She manages to draw the lever with the makeshift magnet, prying the freezer door open just in time. Dragging Matt to safety, she starts a fire to warm him up before confronting Sebastian. 
Linda intercepts Sebastian at the elevator, wielding a flamethrower. She douses him in flames, forcing him back as he tries to escape. To prevent the elevator doors from closing, Linda lowers herself to the floor and keeps up the barrage of flames. But when her gas tank leaks, Sebastian seizes the moment and escapes. He then attacks Linda, knocking her down and attempting to kill her. Just as he's about to deliver the final blow, Matt intervenes, slamming Sebastian with a crowbar. However, Sebastian quickly recovers, disarming Matt and turning the weapon against him. In his rage, Sebastian accidentally strikes a fuse box with the crowbar, electrocuting himself. As electricity courses through his body, his invisible form is briefly revealed, his muscles, bones, and organs flickering into view while his skin remains unseen. Moments later, the explosive Sebastian planted detonate, sending the elevator careening up the shaft. Linda and Matt manage to escape just in time, but Sebastian, not yet defeated, grabs Linda and kisses her in a final act of twisted defiance. Linda, reacting quickly, grabs hold of the elevator cable and sends the elevator car plunging into the fiery abyss below, with Sebastian falling to his death at last. In the final scene, Linda and Matt escape the burning facility, battered but alive. As the building crumbles behind them, they are carried away by medics, leaving the nightmare of Sebastian Kane and his deadly experiment behind.